and gentlemen, RC Bash Boy here. Welcome. So today I'll be comparing the 2.2 Axial Wraith with the 1.9 Axial Wraith. So let's see what's the difference. So the uh, Axial Wraith 2.2 obviously comes, you know, with uh, wider axles and then also this vehicle out of the box uh, comes with 2.2 uh, tires. Um, these are also 2.2 tires. These are the uh, Pitbull, uh, the Rock Beast 2. Um, and uh, yeah, these, you know, perform really great. Also the shocks, you know, these are upgraded, but if I'm not mistaken, the shocks are, I think, 100 millimeter uh, shocks, um, you know, that come with it stock. And then also this vehicle is equipped with, uh, you know, LEDs up front. This vehicle also is equipped, you know, with uh, an interior that you can actually put your own ac uh, action figure on there. Um, you know, it's, it's more scale, if I should say. Most people uh, do actually modify the front, uh, you know, for the hood to open, you know, so you can uh, place the battery on there. Um, for my liking, I just, you know, decided just to stick to the rear, you know, so you can actually just, you know, put your battery here on the rear. It's just personal preference, really. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's, that's just the way I have uh, mine set up. This vehicle also uh, comes with uh, the plastic uh, links and also a plastic drive shaft uh, stock out of the box. Um, so I upgraded, you know, to uh, metal links. Um, that's, oh, wow, as you can see, I need to fix that. Um, and yeah, I mean, this vehicle does uh, really, really great, you know, on the trail. This vehicle is also equipped with the uh, Tekken Rock uh, 418. Obviously, you know, I, I put that myself personally uh with uh this is you know the censored uh, mortar um the esc i think it's like a gen 2 also by tekken um and it and i should say man you know it performs really really well i also equip my uh my wraith my 2.2 uh, wraith with the uh this is the skull head um uh, i guess what they so call it the droop kit um and it does really well so therefore you know i'm able to put you know these uh these are 110 uh, millimeter shocks um, and it performs really, really great, you know, on the uh, on the trail. My actual 2.2 is also equipped with the uh, Savox uh, 1231 um, and this thing does great, amazing. Um, of course, I also have a BAC in, uh, BAC, sorry, in there. Um, I know these are, you know, power, power uh, hungry. Uh, but it does really, really well, and also I have an uh, axial, uh, an axial uh, metal horn. So comparing the uh, axial uh, 2.2 Wraith with the 1.9, um, obviously you know the axles are much wider on the 2.2 than on the 1.9. Uh, the 1.9 uh, axial Wraith has uh, SCX10 uh, axles on there. And then the Wraith is just, you know, it has just wider axles overall. On the uh, 1.9 Wraith, they went ahead and they updated, you know, the front. And of course, you know, this is, you know, the the 2.2 Wraith front. So you can actually see the comparison there. So this vehicle, I haven't ran it yet. Um, this is still brand new. I just been uh, upgrading it as I go. Um, one thing to point out, you know, this is the uh, Axial Racing Universal Light Bucket Kit. You can still, you know, pick them up today. Even, uh, I think I found them on eBay, you know, they're still around. And then this is just a generic bumper um, I just had laying around. Obviously, I'm going to put a winch uh, on there and then uh, it will be fully functional. Um, I went ahead and I uh, painted, you know, these, uh, these markers here. I went ahead and I painted them orange with the... Uh, Tamaya clear orange paint and then also this uh, this is uh, Tamaya clear yellow paint another modification that I did to it um, this is actually quite popular uh, so this is what they call you know the making it a fastback wraith um, all you do is you know you cut you know your roll cage from here uh, here and here and then same to the other side and then these these links actually come in your spare uh, spare parts bag so you don't have to actually you know take a because i've seen most people remove 
remove it you know from here and then they just uh place it here i do plan of putting the uh what is it the vanquish incision uh links metal links on there they just haven't arrived yet but it is planned um but yeah so again you know this this here is just you know the links that you actually install uh here on this uh on the rear axle so comparing the interiors you know this is much more of a just set plastic interior obviously you can mount you know your own personal uh action figure on there just like the uh the axial wraith right um but yeah this is just in a way just a plastic you know generic uh interior so also another neat thing about the uh, 1.9 wraith um so the 2.2 you would have to mount you know the battery in the rear and like i said you know most people do the modification they uh you know they cut they cut here and uh you know you, you uh, put the uh, the battery on there on this bad boy uh axial racing actually saw that and you know so you mount your battery you know right here um i am planning you know to change on uh things uh but right now there's just you know generic ic3s or ec3s you know however you want to you know put it but, but yeah so this connector will be exchanged because uh, i mainly use uh things and also they try to mimic this looks like an ls1 mortar of v8 um, but it's just you know very generic uh but yeah so usually your receiver goes in there and then right next to it, um, you can actually see, oh, it's actually right here. That's the servo that is uh, on there. So it's right there. So yeah, there's your servo and then your, your receiver goes in here. So these are the 1.9 Hyrex tires uh, from Proline. Um, also, I did get them, you know, with the, uh, the big locks that go in there. I really don't know you know the name of these uh wheels but uh you know the tires they do seem amazing you know they they feel pretty soft i also put um lead weight uh inside here you know so i can make you know the the vehicle a bit more heavier you know for the trail um and comparison comparing to obviously why well, i have this in, you know in my bed but uh it's actually even sinking in but uh but yeah i mean you can clearly see, you know, that the Hyrax is actually much bigger and wider, you know, than the generic, uh, you know, axial tire and wheel. Um, yeah, and so far, they look pretty aggressive, and uh, I'll let you, I'll let you guys know, you know, how these uh, perform. So they're the uh, stock electronics. Um, I really don't know much, you know, on the specs on the, uh, you know, the turn on the uh, brushed mortar uh the or the you know the esc but most likely i'll be changing these out probably i'll just go uh censored brushless or something but uh but yeah um so the links as you can see they come in plastic also you know the drive shafts uh, and once again you know i am planning to go metal uh, and again you know i'm just waiting for parts but uh but yeah so this is pretty much how you get it right out of the box also another thing i want to point out um so when I went ahead and I did, you know, the fastback conversion, uh, most people do tend, you know, to cut the roof, uh, I guess, you know, from here down. Um, but I just decided just, you know, to keep it. So I just kind of bend it down and then I just added these uh, zip ties, you know, just to just to hold the, the roof. I mean, why? Because let's be real, gentlemen. Um, you know, in real life, obviously... I don't think people would like to have that, you know, exposed and the sun will be hitting you and stuff. And I just decided just to leave it. I think it looks great. It looks perfect. But again, you know, I see many people just cutting the roof, you know, from here and then just have everything here just open and exposed. But again, I just like the, uh, the solid look. So this baby, you know, all in all, it looks really, really great. Um, I just can't wait to use it. Um, I'm still modifying it. I mean, I just, uh, for some reason, I just haven't used it. But, uh, I mean, maybe because I, I own, you know, the 2.2 Wraith, right? But uh, once it's ready, I'll just, you know, go out there and hit the trail and uh, see how it performs. So from this point of view, um, you can actually see, you know, that the 2.2 Wraith 
is actually you know a lot longer than the 1.9 as you can see you know the tires are actually just you know right next to each other and you know that's the uh the difference in length and um and of course you know the the actual rate 2.2 you know this thing has plenty of articulation um right now like i said i haven't used you know the 1.9 um i really can't say much you know how well it uh it does you know on a on a trail but uh from there you know i'll, I'll keep you guys uh posted so there you go ladies and gentlemen hopefully you guys enjoyed you know the uh, comparison between the 2.2 and the uh, 1.9 um obviously if i miss something just please comment down below and uh don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and share and uh, all that good stuff so other than that rc bash boy here thanks for watching